Hello everyone! Oh, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a really, really good day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian. And if this is not your first time on my channel, girl, thank you so much, bitch. Thank you so much, okay? Um, I welcome you guys with a lot of love, a lot of gratitude, and a lot of humility because honestly, I'm very grateful and thankful to be able to do these videos for you. So thank you so much. Um, grab a snack and a drink, bitch, because we got to talk, okay? Um, and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Girl, let me drink a little bit of water. I can't leave my bottle anywhere because my husband drinks my water. And I'm like, girl, we have, we have like two of the water dispensers. Like, damn, bitch. He just likes my saliva, bitch, okay? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, drink water. Dr let's drink water together. All right. Now that we're a little more hydrated, we got to talk because there's a lot of Madonna news today. Um, the first thing that came out, well, I mean, okay, no, let's talk about like the appetizer and then we'll talk about like the boom, okay? The, the main course. So let's do the appetizer. So JLo did an interview um, to promote her, wet, her uh, movie Shotgun Wedding, which I am so excited to watch. Um, I, I just, you know, I, there's something about JLo romantic comedy um, things that I just, I love. And then the cast is amazing. So I'm really excited to watch it. But um, she did, in fact, say something that I've known for years. I thought this was like public knowledge. But, um, you know, Christina Aguilera, you know, I'm not even trying to be shady, but like, she just has never really been able to have that like, that like star, like, like that... Like, uh, even though she has such an amazing voice, and I, I'm not going to do what I used to do of, like, pitting Britney and Christina against each other. But, like, the fact that Christina wasn't the first choice for the VMA kiss, it speaks a lot, okay? So, um, J-Lo, she said in an interview promoting her movie that um, Madonna and Britney and her met up at, I think, Madonna's house to talk about the kiss. So, actually, instead of Christina, it was going to be J-Lo. So I've known this for years. I thought this was public knowledge, um, but JLo was filming a movie in Canada, so she wasn't able to, to do it. But let me just show you guys something because I just found it to be so shady of JLo. Um, you know, I have to tell you guys something like, and, and what I was, you know, saying about Britney earlier, or about Christina earlier, is just, I really feel like uh, Christina hasn't, and even though she has an amazing voice, because she does, she... You know, I definitely, um, I mean, she has a, a beautiful voice and she's incredibly talented, but I just feel like the industry, and I'll say it hasn't been the nicest to her because she, I feel like just hasn't gotten that, like, um, she hasn't gotten that, like, standing ovation yet. You know what I mean? Like, she hasn't, her, like, she hasn't been really accepted to be, like, the star. You know what I mean? I don't know. Call me crazy, whatever you want. Okay. Um, J-Lo, Madonna, kiss. Okay, hang on. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, without people talking. Okay, here. Yeah. I was filming a movie. So, watch this. Yes, that was actually true. Really? Yeah. I was filming a movie in Canada, and we had, we had met, me, her, and Brittany to do it at her home, and then it just... I just couldn't get off the film and so we couldn't do it and so I guess they you know then they got somebody they got Christina Aguilera I think to do it and uh, I didn't wind up doing it but yeah we had talked about it I love Madonna I'm a huge fan I always have been yes that was actually true okay so you J-Lo you are so J-Lo just did the I don't know her okay babe she just said I don't know that bitch um but listen, imagine it would have been J-Lo. I'll tell you something that I am actually very happy that it wasn't J-Lo and it was in fact Christina because, you know, I just think that it was, I was just, even though they didn't show Christina Aguilera's kiss because they wanted to show Justin's reaction, like I just thought it was like the perfect thing. Um, so I'm actually happy that didn't happen. But um, okay, so we have to talk about, um, hang on, who is this? I don't know who that is. Girl, I don't know who that is. Okay, we have to talk, you guys, about Madonna's World Tour celebration. Now, I am, uh, I don't know, man. I'm like excited. 
sad like i'm like all over the place so i've kind of there's been kind of like rumors you know for for a bit that she was gonna go on tour i have okay i have to tell you like my relationship with madonna okay so before britney before uh, spice girls there was madonna madonna has been my constant like favorite singer um on the same level as i love brit well i think i think britney's here madonna's here because spice girls are like here um anyways so britney is obviously my number one but madonna girl madonna since i could remember i was doing the vogue 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 you know so i've never been able to see her in concert um and i have heard rumors and stuff about it but i i was like oh my god could this be it could this be real could this be real and i was like okay if it is you know hopefully i'll have some months to like you know um save up and stuff and and then of course, Madonna has to come out with a damn, uh, with her damn tickets on Thursday. And I'm like, really, bitch? Like, you don't even, you can't even give people a couple days to, like, figure out where to, you know? I'm like, damn. And she's going to perform all of her hits. Like, it is her greatest hits tour. And I'm just like, oh, my God. So, I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to join OnlyFans. Like, I don't know what's going to, what's going to happen the next 48 hours. But if you see me on OnlyFans, like, sign up, but don't watch. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, you know what I mean? Or, you know, if you want to help me get there, bitch, um, cash app, uh, do the thanks button, you know, tip me. I don't know, bitch. Um, I just, honestly, it's been my dream to, to see Madonna, um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I love her and I think I'm so sad because I, I feel, I don't know why I feel like this is going to be her like last tour. Like she's going to retire because like, you know, you're, you're, you're doing your greatest hits and that is probably like a goodbye. So I'm just like, I hope this isn't it. I hope I could afford to go. Um, I just it, watching her perform Vogue live. Vogue was my first favorite song like, since my existence. So, whew, girl, it's just, like, a lot. But it, she's going to perform all of her greatest hits. She's going all over the, the world. I'm going to read to you guys where she's going. Um, she'll be here um, September, and tickets go on sale the 19th. So, I think that's on Friday. Um, okay. And, I mean, she's, you know, she's 64. I, you know, I not that age is, like, a thing, but, you know, I feel like sometimes you know, you don't want to do all of that. You know what I mean? Like sometimes maybe you just get tired. I don't know. Um, so she's going to start July 15th. She's going to Vancouver, Seattle, Phoenix, Denver, Tulsa, St. Paul, and Cleveland, Detroit, Pittsburgh, Chicago, Toronto, Montreal. She's doing Madison Square Garden two times. Um, she's going to Boston, Washington, Atlanta, Tampa, Miami, Houston, Dallas, Austin, and then LA. She'll be here Wednesday, September 27th. <gasps> I don't know whose pee pee I have to suck, bitch, but I have to go there. Um, then she's going to Europe and she's going to do London. She's going to do Copenhagen, uh, Sweden, Spain, Paris, uh, Germany, Milan, Amsterdam. Like she's going everywhere. Um, I am just like, I can't like this is... I feel excited. I feel like, you know, Madonna, it's Madonna, right? And I know that like lately people are like, oh, Madonna, like girl, what? But I just, there's just something about Madonna that I just, I just, I I'm, I'm obsessed with. You know, I think it's the reinvention. I think it's the, the longevity, you know, she's celebrating 40 years of, of her career. So I really want to go, bitch. Um, anyways. We'll see what happens. Anything is possible. Manifesting, manifesting, manifesting. We got to be positive, bitch. Um, are you going to go to the, the concert? Let me know in the comments below. Um, can you imagine if Britney performs with Madonna? Like, no. Listen, if she fucking comes out and does the human nature shit again, like she did uh, at the, is it, was it the, it wasn't the confessions tour, was it? No, it wasn't. It was the sweet candy or whatever candy, candy. Tour. I don't know, bitch. But when she came out and did uh, Human Nature, <gasps> I'm not your bitch. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> Can you fucking imagine if Britney pops on that stage? You will see me on the on the seven o'clock news, bitch. Fan, 
faints, then runs up to the stage and 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 hyperventilates. I don't know, bitch. Um, you'll see me on the seven o'clock news, okay? Or you know, or 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 fan selected to go on stage and kisses Madonna in in the in the remake of the famous kiss, and then Britney Spears pops out, and then the, all of them kiss. And then he gets signed to her record label. And now he's performing like a virgin. Or can you imagine I go on stage and then they're like, sing a song. And I'm like, okay. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. You give me reason. You give me hope. Jesus never let me go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Anyways, um, Madonna. I'm okay. I'm okay. No, I'm okay. I'm, I promise I'm okay. Anyways, I gotta go. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you so much for all your support. I'm so grateful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.